Here in Europe last night, most TV channels showed a live broadcast of a traditional huge event since 1956 called the Eurovision Song Contest, where they had this creature stuffed in a woman's dress with female makeup and a heavy black beard, which called itself Conchita Wurst, meaning the win the finals with a song called the Rise of the Phoenix. And the Phoenix is the symbol for a future resurrection after death. Probably the resurrection of the Abominable. One also referred to as the Lord of Darkness and the flapping of his wings can almost be heard already. It came from Austria, winning for Austria. And I wonder if the people of Austria has been done a favour by winning. I guess most normal Austrians would rather have Austria lose as being represented by this thing in female clothes and a beard. Everything is upside down. Doctors make us sick. Banks steal our money. Cops beat us up instead of defending the population and undefinable creatures with heavy black beards and dress up in women's clothes get praised and worshipped. Its Austrian name Wurst means a sausage in German and Conchita is Spanish slang for little cunt coming from the word concha giving altogether little cunt sausage a very carefully chosen name which makes the whole thing even more perverted. But that's not all. It even goes deeper still. Conchita also means conception and a name given to Christian daughters in Latin America and Spanish speaking countries as referring to Maria and uh, Mary and the Immaculate Conception thus precisely joining into the satanic agenda and not just only the homo agenda all in all adding up to the joy of Barry and Michael and their community. And in spite of the fact that these agitators claim equality they openly discriminate Christians by deliberately misusing the name of the Holy Virgin Mary one of the main pillars of their religion and place her on the altar, altar of the abominable through this highly satanic ritual while falsely preaching respect and peace and while this creature with a beard in woman's clothes openly claims in the media we are unstoppable as an open declaration of war to anyone whom it concerns and it asked immediately after the show if President Putin had already seen the monster show of the Eurovision Song Contest. Well, this is a weapon of mass destruction. And in spite of the fact that they cannot reproduce themselves, it appears to be that there are more and more of them, gays and lesbians. Why? I've come to the conclusion after many years of scientific research that in the case of a perfectly healthy normal woman after extensive hormonal consumption without interruption of the female anti-baby pill, hormones are being deposited in the reproductive organs and even directly pump in the later planned baby with pregnancy dissimulating hormones as oestrogen and gestagen, making it quite obvious that boys filled up with female hormones will feel sexually rather attracted towards other men. A lifelong search for the stolen masculinity. This only the devil and his own true people can think of. And in utterly witty mood, the anti-conception pill's father Carl Gerasi apparently said to his insider colleagues in and around the laboratory in 1951 
double action birth control well now we have in our possession a birth control with a double function thus not being a weapon solely against man or males as the inventor states out but a weapon against entire peoples women and children included and today there's even talk of a triple action because of the excess on feminine matters or too much yin element male aspects as the sperms are quickly disappearing already one couple out of a hundred has to be helped with artificial insemination through the sewers we even find pathological amounts of these female hormones back into our food chain. They knew it and they wanted it, it like this until a time will come where we have to fill in a triple form to apply for a baby with the state's official parenthood permit plus a waiting list of 10 years at the sperm banks of the pharaohs with of course their own genetics only. Well, this is what the newspapers say about the bearded, bearded lady who won the, uh, the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, there's some pictures and all that. Okay. And here's some more in the newspapers and they write about it as if it were the most normal thing in the world. A bearded lady. Oh. Well, these are the same mainstream media who lied about 9 11, who want us to believe that, eh? Don't they now? And if they can lie about 9 11, well, they lie about everything. <laughs> So oh, here it is in Wikipedia. See, it started in 1956, the inauguration. Oh, look, now it gets interesting. Look at this. You can look it up yourself. Look. The first contest was held in the town of Lugano in Switzerland in 1956, the host nation. And the European Broadcasting Union, based in Switzerland, Octogon, the home of the seven, the beast with the seven heads of the Lord of Darkness. It's always from here. You see? Well, look it up yourself, you know. Just punch pause. It's from Switzerland. It's everything. Geneva and, you know. Okay, here's some Spanish lessons, Conchita, oh, it means the little cunt, slang. And don't you tell me they didn't know this. Oh no, come on. So Conchita is diminutive for concha, and here it says what it means, it, it, it says what it means, yeah? La concha de tu madre. No. This is real filthy language, together with wurst, the sausage. Which is not really it, its real name or whatever it is. Well, here's some more about the name Conchita. Well, here it says it's a um, it's a name to honor the immaculate immaculate conception and the Virgin Mary. So it, it's it's not only filth the whole show in this Conchita worst thing, but it's pure hate, and it's disrespect and hate hatred towards others who think differently and it's uh, so the entire Eurovision show from Switzerland and this Conchita thing is a uh, is a precisely chosen insult towards uh, Christianity and Christians they've been thinking a long time about this you know and uh, Con Conchita uh, worst, you know, the little cunt and, and 
uh, combining the little cunt together with the uh, the Virgin Mary. Why don't they know exactly what they're doing? Well, this is the, uh, the Freemason agenda of the uh, Hermaphrodites and uh, these forces who want to destroy the creation. Oh, the whole Conchita thing reminds me of this guy and even looks alike of one of the uh, the characters this guy here played called um, Bruno also from Austria and looks very much alike I always like to look at the uh, where people come from you know and their, their early life so you can read it as yourself here uh, Maurice Cohen and um, Cohen, Israel that's quite interesting so I, I, I really don't want to show all these uh, all these pictures of Bruno and, and uh, or Bruno and, and well there he is you know but um, the gay from Austria just as this Conchita thing you know and uh, so I just do it quick here so this is Wikipedia just punch balls. And there he is, the inventor of the pill, Mr. Carl Gerasi. Funny name. There, there's his name. Who, uh, who brought this misery to the world, actually. Of so many children who got born, even they had their lives destroyed, even before they were born. With all those hormones because of this pill. Yeah. Well, just punch pause, read it yourself. It's, it has all been worked out, see. Well, some background information about Karl Gerasi. Apparently, the guy's also from Austria, just as Bruno, just as Conchita, Wurst. And where is his ancestry from, like the early life here? Both parents were Jewish. Alice Friedman. Uh, he went to America, Wisconsin. And, um, wow. Gave us the pill and all the misery that came with it. Including last night's pervert show. Well, I think it's due to the pill, yeah? So women don't take it, please, because, and a lot of women get very aggressive of it, masculine, you know, walking around with a cold and a sheriff's uniform, and they're not female anymore, you know. But what else can you expect with all those female hormones? And you know, when you're taking too many female hormones, um, the body, there, there's a masculine uh, reaction to it, you know. It's the same with uh, bodybuilders taking too much, uh, too many um, uh, hormones, you know, to masculine um, um, t testosterone uh, hormones, you know, to be male, male growing hormones. <laughs> they grow titties, you know, <laughs> and with women it's the other way around. And when thinking about the children who suck it all up like for 10 years, you know, it, it, it's everywhere, you know. <laughs> they won't be looking for the lost and stolen masculinity by Mr. Carl Gerasi for the rest of their lives. Well, I hope you enjoyed the monster show then. <laughs>